Hey, hey, Coach, um, did you discuss the trade you all made yesterday for the wide receiver? Edwards? Yeah, so we agreed to the trade for Brian Edwards. Uh, you know, we're excited to get him there for a physical here soon, and obviously then it'll be a complete a guy that we think fits. So be in that receiver room, compete, and it'll help us. Guy can win outside one-on-one. Guy certainly knows how to play in traffic inside the numbers. Is there something in up? Sorry. Uh, how, um, thanks, Mike. Uh, so far, how's the rookie minicamp been and getting to see some of your uh, draft picks and undrafted guys and the tryout guys in person? I don't it's know. It's been good. It. You know, it's, we're going to build these guys up. I, I really view it more as a rookie orientation. Mm -hmm. We've got to make sure these guys get ready to go and, we're, you know, we'll, we'll crank it up a little bit more today and just get them going and build them up in the rest of the spring so we can be rolling by the end of July. Is there something to, I mean, Edwards is also another bigger receiver. Is there something to that that works for you in your system by having more height, bigger receivers? In our system? Yeah. And so in our system, I mean, we're not going to sit here and discriminate against under six foot receivers. That's what you're trying to imply. <laughs> no, uh, I, I still, I <laughs> yeah, we'd still take Harry Douglas if he was coming out right now. Uh, <laughs> coach some guy, you know, Lamade Zacchaeus, yeah. uh, one of my favorite guys to coach. Certainly is dependable, tough. Mark, it's it just Brian happens to be a little bit over six foot. You know, and Khalif Raymond, one of my all-time favorite, wasn't very big. Uh, Darius Jennings, I list can go on. I, was, I don't want you to try to. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want you to try to cancel me for the under six foot receiver. <laughs> no, but you know, in all seriousness, I mean, six. You have London, he's six four, six five. Auden Tate, six four, six five. Edwards, six three. Even Cordero, six two. Out of the backfield, and you have Pitts. Yeah. Like, is there some? What advantage, I guess, does the larger receiver? Well, it depends on the player, but but all those guys, uh, obviously, CP is a unique player. But uh, you know, Drake, the reason we took him, um, and he's a guy that certainly can make contested catches, one one on ones. Guy plays inside the numbers. Brian's the same same way. This guy's made big plays. Uh, and we're we're excited. He's not even 23 years old yet. We really liked him when he was coming out. When I say we, uh, when I was at the previous spot, really liked him coming out. Uh, trade made sense for us. Made sense for both sides. So we're excited. What, if anything, can you tell in two, two and a half days out here that you couldn't about these rookies from tape or the whatever in-person workout you were able to see them? Is there something? I mean, I couldn't. I, you, I, I don't know. I mean, you, you've seen these guys up close. You've spent a lot of time evaluating. Yeah, we're, now we're, you get them out here, we're, we're you learn anything it's, new. It's kind of what I refer, referred to earlier. It's, we're bringing them along. We're not, we're not in pads. We're not tackling. Uh, we're not doing one-on-ones. So it's just a building. We got some guys trying out, and a lot of it is going to be more mental. They wouldn't be out here if we didn't think they had a physical skill set. We wouldn't have brought them out here. But you do get to evaluate how they can take things that we're teaching, you bring it to life on the field, but it's not it's not full real football until we get into late July and August. So um, it's part of the orientation process. That's a better way to put how, it. How I, my mind is not very negative. Like I couldn't see them. Um, like we're excited these guys are here. So How has Ritter done in that, you know, Transferring information part. I know you're taking it for 24 hours. It's not judgment, hot take, yeah. one day in. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> right. Exactly. He's, Thank he's, you. he's fine. <laughs> he's good. Drake said well, that uh, Desmond is his roommate. Is that something that you plan to do on purpose to try to get them to work on their connection and bond and things like that? He said they've already been, quote, chopping it up. I mean, is that. I don't even know what that means. So, <laughs> uh, you know, we pick the guys and roommates. There's no, there's no big reason. I mean, they'll be out of here tomorrow. So, out of there soon. Direct told us a little uh, story yesterday about um, Desmond uh, kind of pulling the guys together and saying these mistakes aren't going to go, aren't going to be tolerated. And it's just day one, and it's just rookies. It's not like he's uh, exerting himself with, with veterans around. But does that reveal anything about you know leadership qualities? That's a good start. Hey, Coach, um, how is uh, Ryan Johnson? Have you had a chance to look at the lineman, the, the kid from Georgia Tech? Uh, yeah. How's he doing? Uh, Trial guy trying to make yeah, it. Yeah, we're excited. Uh, obviously, a guy from Nashville, right, played at Georgia Tech. I uh, like these guys. They're trying to get adjusted to what we're asking them to do, evaluating their movement skills and individual and how they pick up stuff here on the field. What did you see out of Jared Bernhardt that made him intriguing for you guys to take? Uh, the way he attacked the crease. You know, no, uh, no he's, he's a good uh, – uh, Jared's a guy. We're excited to see what he can do. He, he was an option quarterback, got recruited to Navy out of high school. Went to go play lacrosse at Maryland, uh, where I went to high school. It's a big lacrosse school. I got a bunch of my buddies that have been telling me about him. I watched him. The guy's won wherever he's been. 
won the, uh, I don't even know the pronunciations, the T. Wharton, the, the Heisman, essentially for lacrosse, won a national title there at Maryland, goes to Ferris State, plays quarterback, wins a national title in D2. Um, Dad was a good football coach, worked with Bill O'Brien. So we're excited to get him in here as an undrafted free agent, see what he can do. Did you watch, when you were making decisions on him, did you actually watch any of his lacrosse games Absolutely. Early? Yeah. What do you take? I'm a big lacrosse fan. <laughs> what do you take? What do you, what, is there, what do you maybe take transferably that you could see that? That's a skill set, spatial awareness. We'll see if it can translate. I mean, we're, yeah. you know, he hasn't played receiver. Uh, so we'll see if he can help us there. And if he can, then maybe the role expands. Anything else? When you say it's a good start for Desmond, you know, kind of being a little bit vocal out there, I mean, does that impress you as a rookie that he's already kind of doing it? Is that something normal that you've seen from a young quarterback? Well, I mean, that was one of the characteristics we liked about him. So if he got here, to, to maybe better answer Josh's question, if he got here and was was mute, I'd be a little concerned. So <laughs> like, I guess he passed the day one as advertised in that regard.